Hey guys, Ambience here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to beat Night 4 on Five Nights at Freddy's 4. This is the last night of the main game that follows the conventional formula, and honestly, not much has changed from Night 3. The animatronics are slightly more aggressive, and that's about it. As such, in this guide, I'm mainly going to be demonstrating an alternate strategy that makes Nights 6 through 8 much easier. So I'm going to spend the moment explaining the simpler strategy for those of you who only care about beating Night 4 right now and not actually improving as a player. That came off as very passive aggressive i apologize about that uh but anyway it's a very simple strategy uh no matter what strategy you're doing you're gonna want to load the bed and doors at the start of the night so immediately turn around and run up to the door so the pattern that you're going to be following if you don't want to try to learn the strategy it's going to make night six through eight uh, a lot easier for you uh you may have heard that you should follow foxy's footsteps throughout the hallways that's going to be the alternate strategy that we're going to be covering i'm sure some of you guys already do that but i haven't really mentioned it very much in my guides previously i haven't mentioned actually focusing on that uh and it's worth mentioning that this night also is not a perfect demonstration of what the strategy will look like on night six or night seven or night eight just because the animatronics specifically foxy are not aggressive enough so i will go a lot more in depth about this during my night six guide so don't worry about that uh, but anyway, I got off topic here, so the basic strategy that you're going to be following if you do just want to do the regular strategy is you're going to do um, door, bed, door, bed until Foxy gets in. I prefer to do the left door and then the bed, then the right door afterward. Uh, but you can do right door, bed, left door, bed, basically like whatever you want. I just prefer to start with the left door. So I'll do left door, bed, right door, bed, and then once Foxy enters the room and gets into the closet... Then what I'll do instead, I'll change up the pattern. Uh, when he gets in, I don't think I mentioned this before, he's going to be very aggressive at the start, so you're going to want to run to the closet pretty much as soon as he gets in. Even if it does break pattern, it's a lot safer. Uh, so you're going to run up to the closet, shine the flashlight. Foxy's probably going to snap at you in the closet. That happened once, I think, uh, during this guide toward the very end. So don't be afraid of that. Just expect it to happen. So you're going to run up to the closet as soon as Foxy gets in and ward him off, hold the door shut for anywhere between probably 8 to 10 seconds if you want to reset him really far, unless uh, Bonnie or Chica are really close to the door or there's a ton of frettles on the bed. There was Foxy in the hallway right there. Go ahead and rewind if you want to see what that looks like. Um, so once Foxy gets in the room, then the pattern I like to follow, if possible, is left door, bed, right door, closet. If you had to check the closet very early, you can do right door, um... I guess right door beds, left door closet, I don't know. It's very confusing for me because I've always stuck to one pattern the entire time that I've played this game, which is left door bed, right door closet, like I've mentioned, once Foxy gets in anyway. So you're going to want to follow a consistent pattern no matter what. I talked about a lot of this in my Night 3 guide. Sometimes you do have to break pattern, but most of the time you're going to want to try to keep it consistent just so you can move quickly throughout the room and not waste any time. Uh, so left door, bed, right door, closet does work very well. Uh, so that's just the basic strategy. Um, I mentioned a lot more stuff about this in my previous guides, specifically for night two and three. So be sure to go check those out, even if you've already passed those nights, if you want to know more about this basic strategy. And now I'm going to talk about the alternate strategy, since we're almost into the second half of the night already. So basically, um, this won't work to its fullest extent on night four you basically just want to follow the basic pattern but just listen intently for foxy's footsteps i uh, try to go to the door that he runs to even if it is the same door that you just went to so this means that you have to break pattern obviously so for example if you run up to the right door uh you ward off bonnie in the hall for instance and then you run back to the room and you hear foxy's footsteps over in the left hall you're gonna want to go over to the left hall and shine the flashlight to try to scare foxy away even if he's not super close to the door uh because he does actually have a small chance of entering the room if you go to the opposite door while he's um not even that far up in the hallway but just pretty far back in the hallway like not actually showing when you shine the flashlight down there he still has a small chance to get in anyway so this strategy can just prevent foxy from getting in altogether if done properly uh he got in at about 5 a.m for me but i think i made a mistake so i didn't have my volume turned up very loud so i couldn't actually hear his footsteps sometimes uh so basically you're just gonna want to pay more attention to foxy's footsteps and sometimes you're gonna have to break pattern if you're following this strategy so like i said if you go to the left door and you go back to the center of the room and you hear foxy run from the right hallway over to the left one go ahead and check the left door so obviously if foxy keeps going to the same side of the room and you keep having to scare him away eventually either bonnie or chica are going to get pretty close 
So the rule that I like to follow is after I go to a door twice or sometimes three times, uh, depending on how far back the animatronic in the other hallway is. So say I go to the left door twice or three times, uh, and then I hear Foxy run over to the left hallway again. At this point, I just accept it as bad luck and have to cut my losses and accept the possibility that he could get in because I have to go over to the right door and ward off Chica. So make sure that you don't just stay on one door the entire duration of the night, but don't be afraid to check it two or sometimes even three times if you know the animatronic in the other hall is pretty far back. Um, this will help you tremendously in keeping Foxy out of the room, and it makes FNAF 4 so much more simple. So to recap, you're going to want to pay attention to Foxy's footsteps whenever he runs over to a hall, then you're going to want to go check that hall, even if it does break pattern. Uh, make sure that you are still checking the bed consistently, of course, in order to scare the frettles away. You don't have to do it a ton, but make sure you are doing it pretty consistently. Um, you've got a ton of time, really, um, on night four. Anything before, like, night seven, the frettles are really underwhelming, honestly, and by far the uh, weakest threat in FNAF 4. So I wouldn't worry too much about them. Just make sure you are checking the bed occasionally. I think Foxy gets in the room pretty shortly here. I think I just heard him enter. I'm not sure. Yeah, there he is. He's in the closet. So you run up. Jump scare warning. There we go. I uh, went ahead and closed the closet door here. I just hold it shut for a while. Um, this was not really a good move for me to hold it closed that long because the frettles started accumulating on the bed behind me. And I actually almost lost. You can see the lights flickering a bunch there. Uh, so just to recap, because I, I keep getting sidetracked, and I want to make sure you guys understand the strategy. So what you're going to want to do is listen intently for Foxy's footsteps. Um, don't just sit in the center of the room, though. Make sure you are actually following a pattern and going to check the left and the right door, even if you don't hear his footsteps um, on night four, because he doesn't run a bunch compared to night seven or eight. So just follow a pattern until you hear Foxy's footsteps run in a certain direction. Then even if you just check that door, go back to that door and shine the light there. Uh, make sure to break from this if you end up checking the same door two or three times in a row. You will have to run over to the other door and ward off the animatronic there. Uh, if you hear footsteps very close to either the left or the right door, you should probably go over there after another one check, maybe. I wouldn't go over one on the door that Foxy's running to. So you can also judge by the footstep sounds in the hallways of how close the animatronic is to the door, so it's pretty important. So it is pretty subjective, but two to three times usually is what I'd recommend. Maybe cut it short if you hear footsteps in the opposite hall. But anyway, this strategy, if you follow it properly, which I did not during this, uh, I win plus trap, by the way, so there's no jump scare. Um, so if you do get this right, which again, I did not in this video, you do everything perfectly, then you will be completely fine. Uh, Foxy will not enter the closet the entire duration of the night, which helps tremendously and just makes everything much more simple. So that's about it. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching this guide. I hope it helped you, and I'll see you in the next one.